was good this semester. I enjoyed it a lot because it's very different from the really stressful Ivy League um, environment that you know I had been in for two years already. And um, in Italy, it's, I think also the culture and the fact that everyone's just so much more relaxed and it's all about really enjoying life over there. It was um, a lot of fun to go over there to study. Um, because it wasn't as rigorous academically, but also because there was like a lot to learn culturally um, as well. So maybe it's not as book academic as like um, my regular college university experience was, but it was very rich in terms of um, cultural experiences. Um, so I took courses in um, Italian politics, Italian language, um, Italian literature, um, and basically just took my classes and would wander the streets of Milan <laughs> really? at the time and I would just go and just stop and talk to random people and try to um, work on picking up the language and um, learning more of it. Um, I had only taken one semester of Italian before um, going abroad so I didn't know much Italian but I knew enough so that um, it wasn't very difficult for me to um, like understand. It was easy for me to understand my surroundings. It was difficult for me to speak though. And um, one thing I liked about Milan was I, I visited other um, cities in Italy, and I went to Rome and the Vatican and did all that. Um, and I think one thing that I appreciated about Milan was that it's not very, like, it's not the popular city abroad place. Like, it's known as the most industrial, um, but northern Italy is more industrialized than the whole of the country. So um, Milan is, like, the industrial center of the north. And it's known for, its, you know, the fashion and the industry, but it's, I don't think many students think, oh, I'm going to go study abroad in Milan, unless they're doing music, because there's a lot of theater and opera there, or if they're doing fashion stuff. So, for the most part, I felt like it was less touristy than most of the other Italian cities that I went to visit, which I appreciated, because, um, like, when I was walking down the streets of Milan, the people literally couldn't communicate with me in English, so it made it, it forced me to, um, try to learn the language more and pick it up more. Whereas when I went to Rome, I could have gotten by, when I visited Rome for the weekend, I could have gotten by the whole week without speaking, like, a word of Italian, and it would have been fine. Um, which wouldn't be ideal for my study about experience, because I wanted to immerse myself in a language as well as the culture. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a good time. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I could tell you about. I, um, what was it? I traveled some weekends, but I didn't travel. Oh, I guess I traveled, by my standards, I think I traveled a lot. But by the other students who were in my program, um, I think I traveled very little. Because I, I went to um, France, and I went to London, and then I traveled to some other cities in Italy. But um, basically everyone else in my program every weekend went to like a different place whether it was Greece or um, Nice or wherever they were going. They were just all over the place. And um, that was, it was fun. It was fun to be able to travel. Um, and it wasn't, it was relatively cheap because they have um, cheaper airlines that would like, you can go to, I, I think I paid like 20 something euros for my round trip flight to go to Paris when I went. So it's not that expensive.